sold my house and bought the RV and been traveling ever since. Mm -hmm. She's happy, I'm happy, and uh, you know, life is going on, you know. So, but I'm retired now, so I just travel around the country. What everybody dreams about, you know. Hello, my name is Bob Schroyer. I'm a full-time RVer. I'm 68 years old. I'm retired and I've been RVing for about one year, full-time, and uh, put on 22,000 miles in 10 months, crossing the U.S. twice, okay? Mm -hmm. And right now I am in the state of Washington. It's my 24th state, and uh, I plan to do a little more traveling in Washington, then I'll head south as we get closer to the fall of this year. I lived in my van, I was selling my business, I lived in my van for seven months, but I was stationary in North okay. Carolina. And then I started traveling after I sold the business. I, I started traveling in October. The very first week I was traveling, my rig was broken into by some homeless people. And they stole everything. And fortunately the police got everything back. But that's the way my trip started, by being broken into. Brand new rig, brand new truck. Uh, but it didn't stop me. It was, it was it was fine, and I dealt with that, and I moved on, and I've been traveling ever since. You know, my wife and I, and uh, we got divorced. I sold my house and bought the RV, and been traveling ever since. She's happy, I'm happy, and uh, you know, life is going on. You know, but I'm retired now, so I just travel around the country. What everybody dreams about, you know. I had a business for about 10 years after corporate America. And I sold that business, uh, and that allowed me to get the rig and then move mm -hmm. on. Financially, I'm, I'm all set. You know, I'm tired, I have investments, and, and I'm okay. So I don't need to worry about uh, money. Okay, thank you, Bob. Okay. And then, could you introduce us a little bit about your rigs? So this is a full-size AM pickup truck. So it's, uh, it's about 400 horsepower. So it's, it's big. It can pull much more than this. But the reason I got this is I had a Jeep Grand Cherokee, which I really liked. But when I was going up mountains, it, it was struggling. Mm -hmm. And I said, I, I don't want to deal with that, so I got the truck, you know. But with that truck, I can go anywhere now. They call it a half ton. It means, it means you can carry a thousand pounds in the bed, or in, in the back, you know. That's what that refers to. Mm -hmm. But in towing, I can pull about 9,000 pounds. Um, what year is it? Oh, 2019. And How I'm much do you pay for this? This was about, I think, with... Uh, Maybe about 50 grand with the interest rate, but probably low 40s at discount. It got up to that price with the total cost with the interest and so on. Okay. Oh, okay. This is a 2019 Little Guy Max. It's a um, teardrop, as you can see it, but it's a big teardrop. It's 18 feet long plus, you know, three feet for the tongue. So it's 21 feet if you measure the tongue on the right. Mm -hmm. It's uh, about nine feet tall and it's uh, seven feet wide so i have seven feet times 18 that's my square area that i live in it was about thirty four thousand. i put a lot more money with the battery solar panel but i do more i put the uh booster you see the booster up there uh -huh. the cell booster so it opens up the window opens up yeah uh, it opens up like these mm -hmm. but i generally don't open that one because it's a pain in the neck, it's heavy and big, and I don't, you know, I get enough airflow with these other ones. Okay. But it does open up, yes. Just like these. So these are pretty good. They're, I put this white on here because when I first got it, I'd be walking here and I'd hit my head. Uh, so now I see the white. Okay. And I duck down, okay? Yeah. I'm an older guy, right? So I, my vision's probably not as good as yours. Me also, I open, bumped out the corner. Like the cabinet, right, and a couple. Yeah. yeah. So know. I scrape my hand many times. Every time you hit it. Yeah, I know. It happens to me too. I have a furnace. I have a hot water heater. I've got air conditioning, which I never use. I would, I would not get air conditioning again. The reason is when the windows are open, and if I run the fan, it's cool in there, even at a hundred degree temperature. Mm -hmm. And the air conditioning is too noisy. Yeah. Do you have air conditioning on yours? No, I don't have any AC. Yeah. So you have a fan noise. Notice. That's all you. Fan, need. not very. Do you have a fan on the top? I have, but, fan? but it's a nice one. Oh. Not very loud. Yeah, yeah, not very loud. Yeah, that's mm. what I use. It. It's called a fantastic fan. Yeah, Max fan. Yeah, Max, that's just a cover. It came with a different cover. This cover I can leave open all the time. I can leave the fan open, even yeah. in the rain. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Here's my power 
shower. Mm -hmm. This mm -hmm. goes all the way through to the other side. Okay, so I mean I can open it up, but it's, you can't see much because it's full, you know. So that goes all the way through. But that's nice. It gives me a lot of storage under there. That's about three to four feet wide. Right on the hitch. See, now what I have back here, these are all my sewer lines. Yeah, so it's the dirty stuff, right? So I put all that in there. And then I never have to put any dirty stuff in the back. Like uh, anything, hoses, stuff like that. I just put it in there. I have a backup camera. When I was robbed, remember I told you the story I was robbed? Mm -hmm. They climbed up on this roof and they ripped that camera off. But they didn't want to be videos. But it's a backup camera. It wasn't even on when they were there, mm -hmm. robbing me. So you notice I have my, I put the sheriff's thing on here. You know why? Because I donate to the sheriff in my county. Mm -hmm. But I want to, if a policeman pulls me over, I want him to see that. So he doesn't give me a ticket. <laughs> <laughs> Good idea. And I belong to these groups yeah. here. Yeah. I've been to a couple events. They, they have RV events. You ever go to, the, well, it's like RTR. Yeah. But escapers, we had a big event in Las Vegas last year I, I went to. Mm -hmm. And Escapees is a big organization, too. I put this on here just as a warning to scare people. Okay. okay. Now nice. I'm telling you, it'll be all over the web now. You'll know, everybody will know that's just a fake. I don't really have video cameras on this. I mean, I have that camera there, but I'm not using it. Okay. Here I have outdoor speakers. I have a place for my TV. So I have power, USB, and all this stuff out here. I have a, I have a Thule Crown. It's camera. owning. Yeah. Wow. That comes out about six, eight feet. Something. It's not very big, but mm -hmm. it's just a little one. Okay. Now, because we're elevated, I had to level my unit. A big step up. So just grab onto that handle. Okay. Wow. So this is uh, <laughs> set up. So I have the dinette here. I sit here usually all the time, and I I put storage mm. over here, as well as under there. But so this is where I'm normally, you know, working on my computer right mm -hmm. here. You know, I plug my power in down there. And then in here I have a TV that comes up. Uh -huh. Let me show you. It comes up by uh, motor. There it is. So the TV comes up from there. But I never watched it there. That's I don't watch cool. it. That's pretty neat though, huh? Yeah, it's neat. Yeah. Okay, so this is the dinette. Let me squeeze back here. So here, I'll let you get in there. So there's a queen bed. I put cushions and stuff on that side. I sleep on this area here. Yeah. If I had a, a wife or a girlfriend, she could be over there. Right now I'm traveling by myself. Yeah, so yeah. It's, it's full size. So, yeah, wow. right and that window opens up nicely, nice. you know? Yeah. Nice, huh? You can see the stars at yeah. night. Yeah. yeah, it's called a uh, scar, uh, sky... Gazer. Skylight. Yeah, something like that. Yeah. And then I have another window over there. And I have little reading lights that stick out of the yeah. ceiling there. You see them on. So in here I have you know pantry stuff, mm -hmm. pantry stuff. Yeah. This is all clothing in here. And I have a full fridge, four cubic feet. It's not stocked very well right now because I yeah. was away for a couple of days. These are all the places I've been. Yeah. So I started here, went out here, came back there, then mm -hmm. came out here. And now I'm out here. Yeah. It's great. You know? Okay. All right. So now I have another. This is all clothing in here. Now I put these hooks on here, you're probably wondering why does he have these hooks? Because I found that if I don't put hooks on, all the doors open up and everything falls on the floor. So I put these systems on here, so now that, that can't open, no matter what. Because I used to come in here and everything would be on the floor. Now look at this, I put baby cushioning here. Because <laughs> I, yeah. I used to lean like this. Yeah, me and I too. Hit my head. The other thing I learned is you cannot leave your doors open, like this door here. You can't leave that open because yeah. you'll hit your head. Yeah. So, right micro, mm. two burner stove, like a big sink here. That's yeah, sink. it's very deep. Yeah, very deep. Mm. So, uh, so mm. pretty much. So okay. here's the bathroom. I carry my water. I drink bottled water. So that's an emergency, that big five gallon. I've mm -hmm. never used it. But, um, so I have a shower and a john in there. Ceramic toilet and stuff. Okay, nice. I only have 20 gallons of fresh in this unit and nine gallons of uh, black tanks. Mm. I don't have a lot of storage, you know. Okay. But anyway, this is good. It's good for one. I think two would be a little tight. Yeah. 
Well, it's like a little apartment. I have mm -hmm. four rooms. Bathroom, mm -hmm. kitchen, yeah. bedroom, and dining area. What do you think? Four rooms. It's pretty nice, yeah. I'm having a good time, but I'll do it as long as I can do it with being healthy. You know, if I had some type of problem, ailment, mm -hmm. then I'll have to retire full time and go mm -hmm. live in an apartment. Here. But for the time I can do this, I'm going to do this probably for our next few years. Okay. So let's see how, how it goes now. You met the lady I introduced you to today. Mm -hmm. She was 76. She could do this. She has a casino. So maybe I can do this for another. I'm 68, so maybe I can do it for another eight years. We'll see what happens.